welcome back to my channel this is Kim and stitches all right so on today's tutorial i'm going to be making this two-piece style it's one of the trendy styles um in that is in vogue now so if you are interested in knowing how to cut and sew this two-piece come along with me and let's get started all right so the first thing you do is to fold your fabric and when you're folding you use your hip measurements to fold so this method i use there you can just place your drafted pattern on your fabric and cut out the top so i made a video previously on how to cut a top so you can go ahead and watch that video to have a better understanding of what i was doing here so you just mark out all the measurements that you need to do. You mark all the length measurement, that is the shoulder to bust point to under bust, natural curve, navel, and hip, and then the top length. Then you mark all the round measurements as well. You ensure that you add your allowances because this is going to be a free shirt. So you can add up to like three or four inches allowances. So what I'm cutting out here is just the front part. So this is the front part and you remember to put on your two inches for your bottom hole and your bottom stand. So that's how you do this part. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is cut the back piece. So to make this easier, I'm just going to place the front piece on top of my folded fabric. So one difference, um, the two differences here, or let me say the differences between the front piece and the back piece is that the front piece for this design has a lower neckline whereas the back the neckline for the back is going to be high so i used 2.5 for the neck depth for the front so for the back i'm going to be using one inch sorry 1.5 inches 1.5 inches so that's going to be the depth for the back 1.5 inches all right so the, they still have the same neck width but the depth for the back is higher than the depth for the front and also i'm not going to come out at the ham hole for the back piece the back piece we have the regular straight line and then you cover out the armhole from the straight line that you drafted. So it's still going to have the shoulder slope. I'm just tracing out the shape that I have for the front piece. Now, normally, if you are making a normal shirt, what you do is this two inches for the um for the bottom allowance on the front piece, you don't need it at the back because there is no button at the back. So what you do is you fold this in. You fold this in before you place your front piece on your pattern. But because I'm going to be having an overlap on my back to give me the butterfly effect that I want for this design, I'm going to be adding the extra two inches, which the overlap is going to be. So the extra two inches for the front is now useful for me because of the special design I'm making. And then the length for the back piece would be a bit longer than the length for the front piece. All right, so I'm going to be adding four inches to my front piece. Four inches. This four inches has, it has the seam allowance already added to it. So this is what I'm going to be cutting out now. now i have my back piece now i'm going to be cutting out the butterfly that i told you guys about so what i'm going to do now is to slant from here 
this is the base so i want it to slant all the way like this to give me a curved shape so I'm, i'll measure out the number of inches that i want to use i'm going to be using six inches as my slant line just to give me the curved shape effect so from this point at the neck the two inches that i added i'll come out like this to join this that i have created At this point you go ahead to your sewing machine to sew your shirt so here you go ahead and stitch your button hole and your button stand so ensure that your stitches are neat and straight so this will just give you that nice effect on shirts you know it's just the best way to sew a shirt pocket and then you join the shoulders go ahead and join the shoulders the right shoulder and the left shoulder so I and here you overlock the opening at the back that butterfly opening that we did you overlock it to give it a neat seam line and after that you hem it with just 0.5 inch inch that you have so this is what we are doing here go ahead and ensure that your stitches are neat your hands are straight this is just going to give you that professionalism when you finish sewing your shirt joining the shoulder you attach your collar you know i made a video on how to cut a pattern for a collar and a collar stand a shirt collar and how to sew it so please do well to watch that video